Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're going to look at a couple techniques that you can use to create this glass effect. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. All right, guys, so first things first, we have our clip here. Let's take it directly to the Fusion page. Let's bring in a merge node, and then let's also bring in a transform node. So we're actually going to use media in one node, uh, also as the foreground at this uh, merge node here. Then let's also bring a rectangle masking node, use that to constrict this effect to only a certain part of this uh, clip. So let's adjust the uh, height as well as the width of the mask. And then uh, let's uh, come to the transform node, adjust the size a little bit, bring that up, and then you're going to see this contrast right away. Then let's, uh, uh, speaking of contrast, let's actually bring in brightness and contrast node. We're going to bring up the brightness. Uh, this once again is going to make this part of the clip stand out compared to the rest of the video. Now let's also bring in a blur node. Uh, we're going to just uh, bring up the blur setting uh, just a touch. And then uh, this basically, guys, uh, helps to set up the foundation uh, for the glass effect. Moving on, let's go ahead and bring another merge node. And we're going to uh, basically copy uh, the rectangle mask node and then paste instance twice. So this way, basically, all the settings in these uh, uh, three nodes are going to be connected to each other. But for this second one, we're actually going to de-instance the paint mode, change it to invert. Now we're also going to de-instance width as well as soft edge settings. So this way they can be adjusted independently compared to the other two nodes. Now, if you look at this masking node right here, as you can see, if we start to adjust the width setting, this will right away create this thin border around uh, the, uh, the constricted area. And this is basically how we're going to create the border for this effect. So let's connect it to the merge node as a mask. Now let's also copy and paste these blur brightness and uh, transform uh, nodes here. We're just gonna use them uh, for this part of the effect as well. Uh, then uh, we're going to change up some of these settings. Uh, so, uh, you know, change up blur, change up the brightness and contrast. Uh, we can also change uh, the uh, settings in the transform node as well. Uh, but uh, the idea here is that we're going to change up the settings so that this border is going to, we're going to make the border pop so that it can, uh, it can stand out compared to the other part of this effect. Now you can also come back and experiment with the width setting as well, uh, you know, for the uh, borders until you get to a point where you're happy uh, with how the border looks. Uh, now, because all these nodes are instanced, so when you, let's say, adjust the angle setting, you will see that everything will move at the same time. Now, let's go ahead and animate this. So what we're gonna do is to keyframe the center uh, parameter here, and then come to the end of the video, let's keyframe again, let's change the position uh, of this uh, glass effect, and then let's also come to the beginning, make sure we change that as well. Let's move it over uh, to uh, the left, and now let's uh, come back to the edit page, have a look at this effect. So guys, you can see now this uh, glass is going to move from, it's going to sliding from the left to right. So this is a basic workflow that you can use to create a glass effect. Now let's look at another one that we can easily create using a very similar workflow. So let's take this clip uh, back to the Fusion page. We're going to bring in a displace node instead. And then let's also bring in a, a fast noise node. We're going to use this as the noise mapping for the displace node. And then uh, let's uh, connect this. Uh, you can also you can either bring in a merge node or just connect this displace node uh, back to meeting in one as the foreground. Okay, so now let's come to the fast noise node. Uh, let's uh, go to the color tab, go to gradient, and then just leave it at uni, and then uh, go back to noise, change up the settings. Let's unlock X, Y first, change up the X scale, Y scale, and then some of the other settings there too. Uh, and then uh, let's go to displace node and uh, let's go to uh, XY tab, and then let's change XY channels to Luma. So now as you can see, when we start to change the X as well as the Y refraction, this is going to distort the image based on that noise mapping, give you this uh, impression of this image distortion when you know looking through uh, certain types of glasses. So that's what we're going for here. And when you come to, let's say the fast noise node, change the center position, you can see how by doing this, we can bring this effect really to life. 
So for now, let's just bring in a rectangle masking node. We are going to adjust the height as well as the width to constrict this effect to only certain part of this video. Now let's uh, also bring in a brightness and contrast node and we can change up some of the settings like lift, gain and brightness. Uh, we can also bring in a uh, you know, blur node as well. But instead of the usual blur node, let's try something different. Let's experiment with maybe the prism blur to see how that's going to make a look. So let's change up the settings like blur strength, abstraction distance, abstraction strength. We can also uh, go to the settings tab, change up the different color channels to see how that looks. But uh, yeah, that's basically the idea here. Uh, and uh, now let's uh, go to the rectangle masking node, copy and paste. Uh, instance uh, twice like what we did before then in this second note here what we're going to do is to once again de-instance the paint mode uh, change that to invert and let's also de-instance soft edge as well as the width setting let's change this width setting just a little bit here uh, to create that border now let's bring a merge node we're going to connect these guys to the merge node as a mask so what we're going to do at this point is to recycle uh, these nodes here. So let's copy and then paste them. Let's connect media in one to them and then just uh, use it as a foreground at uh, merge to node. Now, what we're going to do differently is to change up some of these settings. So for example, for fast noise node, what we're going to do is to change X and Y scale. Uh, and this you can see, or as you saw earlier, is going to change how the picture, how, how the image is going to be distorted as a result. So let's go to displace, as you can see, uh, this is a way much different result uh, compared to before. We can also change the uh, width of the glass, of the border as well uh, there, and then also change the soft edge settings too, uh, a little bit. We can also change prism blur, right? To kind of change up, uh, so, so to go for a different look here. Uh, but the idea is that in all these different settings like brightness, contrast node, we can also make changes to those. Uh, this will make the borders uh, pop, make it stand out. Okay, so now let's get ready to animate. So let's come to uh, the beginning of the clip, keyframe the center parameter of the instance node, of the uh, uh, rectangle masking node. And let's come to the end of the clip. Uh, let's move this mask a little bit over to the right. And then uh, as you can see, when we preview this effect right now, uh, it's going to look pretty good. Uh, but one thing you're going to notice is that the fast noise node itself is not moving, so it's still looking kind of dead. So let's come back to the fast noise node. Let's keyframe the center parameter. And let's go to the end of the clip, keyframe again. Let's just bring this over to the right, uh, just a touch. And now if we preview this effect again, you're going to see that this effect is looking much better. It's, it has more life to it. And we can continue to experiment with some of these nodes here. So for example, prism blur, let's change up the uh, you know, abstraction distance. We can also uh, it'll play with the border width uh, you know, as well. Um, let's do that. Uh, you know, we can also uh, you know, play with uh, other nodes. Uh, so for example, let's try maybe the prism blur. Uh, let's go to that node and change up some of the settings here like blur strength. Uh, we can also uh, you know, change up the refraction settings in the displace node. And then uh, let's go back to the edit page, guys. Just uh, have a look at right now how this looks. It's looking pretty decent, guys. Uh, and this is basically it for this effect. But uh, we can continue to work on this because I'm not too happy with how it looks right now. So now let's go back to the Fusion page. Uh, the first thing we're going to do here is to go to Prism Blur, bring back the blue channel. Now let's go to the uh, first fast noise node here. Change the X and the Y scale a little bit here. Uh, so that's looking a little bit better. Uh, that's, that's looking not bad. Let's go to the Displace node. Uh, change up the X and the Refraction just a touch. Uh, okay, so that's looking much better. Let's also change the border width uh, as well. Uh, experiment with that, change that up. Uh, we're also going to change the Soft Edge setting as well, just a touch. Okay, so now let's take this back to the Edit page and have a look at this effect. This is looking much better now. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is basically it, guys. Uh, you know, you're going to be doing very similar things as well uh, when you are creating this effect. Uh, there's going to be a lot of experimentation, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you learned something. And as always, I will see you next time.